Hi everybody, thanks for stopping by. I'm Sinequa and I have something I want to talk about. So, it's basically, you know, um, a mass shootings pretty much. Um, and right now I just want to focus on first the Buffalo situation. The Buffalo, New York one with the white boy Peyton, um, what's his name? Peyton Gendron, uh, Gendron. That's what I'm going to go with that. But um, I'm reading right now on the New York Post that he supposedly or allegedly left ammo and the rifle at his friend's house the day before, right? You go into the article and you start reading that um, accused white supremacists, they're going to kick it off with that. Mass murderer, Peyton Gendron, dropped off ammunition and a high-powered rifle at his friend's house on the day before the slaughter at Buffalo Supermarket, his pal claimed, okay? Because I know one of my questions was, where did he get the ammo and where did he keep the rifle and everything like his parents didn't know anything about it? So I guess with reading this article, that throws that out the window, um, allegedly, okay? Because they all been saying allegedly, and they say and claim. So, you know, there's not 100% certainty that this is what happened. But let's keep going because it's, it's crazy, right? It's funny, funny, crazy. The 18-year-old suspect showed up unannounced at 8 a.m. to drop off the terrifying arsenal with longtime pal Matthew Casado. Now, this is the part that made me come here, okay? A 19-year-old Hispanic man. First time I read Hispanic, first of all, when I saw Casado, I was like, oh, here they go. They're about to say that he got a uh, Hispanic friend, so it couldn't be racially motivated. But no, let's keep going. Hispanic man who has a black girlfriend. So go even further. <laughs> so, I mean, they just trying to rule out the part that this wasn't um, a hate crime. It wasn't a black hate crime that made him go in that supermarket. But y'all know what I think. Y'all know I think it was a hit to kill Aaron Slater Jr., the brother who was working on the engine to, uh, you know, basically get rid of gas and, and run it with water, okay? He was doing the same thing that the white brother was doing about 20 years ago. Uh, can't remember his name. Let me see. Because a brother on IG had mentioned it yesterday, and I appreciate him for saying it, was, uh, it wasn't Aaron, but it was Stanley or something. It was Stanley Mayer. Stanley Mayer. So that's uh, M E Y E R, Mayer. Stanley Mayer, inventor, died March 21st, 1998, also figured out a way to, you know, run cars off of water. Okay, or with water and uh, dead. Okay, and it's a video if y'all go look it up on YouTube where you know they say that this man went and had a uh, dinner with some people um, for a deal and ran out the restaurant screaming before he died that they poisoned me. But anyway, so the, the Buffalo situation, y'all know, I, I think that that was like a personal hit now. <sighs> What happened yesterday with that um, Hispanic boy who just so happened to look like Hayden to me? I, I think they, they, I don't know. I don't know if they're making them in the lab before they put them out there to start, you know, shooting and doing what they're doing or whatever. Um, but I think these are planned attacks for sure. Um, but that little gentleman, let me see. What's his name? Let's see. Let's see. His name is, uh, where he at? Salvador Ramos. He's 18 years old as well. But him and that Peyton, 
they almost look identical to me. Almost. Something about they they facial structure, that, that square jaw and, and that that the even eyes and the even eyebrows. It's just something about the persona of the face that look identical to the other dude, Peyton, the white boy who uh, did the shooting in Buffalo. This boy, Salvador Ramos, this picture they using, look just like Peyton. I don't know if y'all see the, uh, the, the, the similarities with the eyebrows and the eyes and the facial structure or something, but you know, just like they made them in the lab, each color, you know what I'm saying? Like some drones or clones or something, I don't know. And it's like, they just send them out here to go and attack, like, okay, so they said Salvador Ramos, he killed his grandmother, right? Where's the picture of his grandma, man? I want to see a picture of his grandma because I just want to know that he actually came from somebody, okay? And <laughs> also, I'm sorry, but I don't look at news the way y'all look at news. I look at news and the first thing I do is I just start, hmm, I kind of look at it like that. I have to wait, you know, for a while when these news stories come out before I develop my opinion on a subject matter. Other than that, I'm just going to give you some, some, just some thoughts that just pop in my head and just come out like that because I move on spirit. I know when my boo first told me the story yesterday about this um, Salvador Ramos in, uh, where was the place in Texas? Um, is it Uvalde? Is that how you say it? I'm going to go with that. But um, when he first told me the story, the way he told me, it painted a picture in my mind that this young boy was actually troubled and um, probably was getting picked on in school. But see, he didn't even go to his own school. He's 18. See, he went to a grammar school. You see what I'm saying? So that threw that out. See, the way he told it, he makes like he went to his school. And then, you know, he killed his grandmama and he killed himself. Like, okay, well, that boy had a problem. That's how you go out. Because if you don't know, finish the job, you got to take it all the way to the end. You can't just go around killing people and don't kill yourself. You got to kill yourself, too. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? But that's not how it went. When I read the story, he went to a whole elementary school and shot it up, okay? I don't know why he chose that school. You know what I'm saying? But ain't nothing coincidence on this earth. And this is what I know. So I know it's a, it's a story. It's a story behind it. And outside of, you know, um, Democrats and Republicans and all that and gun laws and trying to, you know, figure out what to do and try to get the gun, the power to, out of our hands to be able to go and buy weapons, you know, that could be a part of the story. But that may not just be it. You know what I'm saying? It's something else is going to come out. 10 years after Sandy Hook, right? 10 years. That was in 2012. It's 2022. And it's like, happy anniversary. Got to give them another school mass murder. You detect the kids. That just make the, you know, everybody like, oh, no. What are we going to do? It's that kid. But it's Texas, too. You know what I'm saying? When you think about Texas, huh? I don't know. There's a lot of strange things going on territory wise, you know, law wise. They always just trying to play us and spin us. They be spinning the shit, spinning the shit, but they benefit. That's my son. But they be doing that shit. So I, I just don't know. But I'm just, I, the main point to me was these motherfuckers look like. Then I don't know. I'll be back <laughs> regarding this story. But thanks for stopping by and listening to just a little bit of what I have to say. Have a blessed day. Stay dry. If you're in Chicago, wherever you are, always stay safe. Keep your eyes to the sky. Focus on God. Okay? And be a good person. You know somebody with a gun? You know somebody that, you know, they don't need no gun. Everybody don't need a gun. Okay? Everybody need a gun. You know somebody with a gun, you know somebody with some ammo that you know don't need it, you need to say something. Shit, message me. I pick it up. I pick it up. I collect all the guns and all the arsenal, and I just hold on to it um, until we need it, and then we can <laughs> develop our own situation going on. But other than that, like, 
Unstable people don't need no weapons, and too many unstable people got weapons. That that's 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 the problem. Okay, um, that that's you know, but I don't think this is that though. That's all I'm saying. I think it's something else. Okay, okay, I'm gone. I'm gone. All right, all right. I stand away though. Bye bye.